Well, there's another birther conspiracy, similar to that of former President Barack Obama, some might say. It's crossing the internet, but this time Senator and Presidential hopeful Kamala Harris is the target. So here's what happened. During Thursday's Democratic presidential debate, Donald Trump Jr. retweeted a Harris critic that questioned her identity. Well, Trump Jr. then deleted the retweet, but not before it was seen by his millions of followers. Harris's campaign has compared the comment to that uh, birtherism conspiracy um, from President Trump against President Obama. Former Vice President Joe Biden, who had a tense exchange, remember, with Harris during this week's debate, is among one of the many 2020 candidates defending her. He wrote this, quote, the same forces of hatred rooted in birtherism that questioned Barack Obama's American citizenship and even his racial identity are now being used against Senator Kamala Harris it's disgusting, and we have to call it out when we see it. Racism has no place in America. And Washington State Governor and 2020 candidate Jay Inslee said this. Well, unfortunately, it appears that the rotten apple doesn't fall too far from the rotten tree. And what comes to mind is the, the question to the whole Trump family, at last, have you no decency, sirs? Well, Harris was born in Oakland, California, to a mother from India and a father from Jamaica. In March, the senator addressed the issue of critics who questioned her heritage. Watch. I'm not going to spend my time trying to educate people about who black people are. Mm -hmm. I was born black. I will die black. And I'm proud of being black. And I'm not going to make any excuses for anybody because okay. they don't understand. Let's bring back April Ryan, White House correspondent for America Urban Radio Network, CNN political analyst and author of The Presidency in Black and White. So, April, it seems like we're going to see this uh, again, and maybe it suggests <laughs> that they take Kamala Harris a little more seriously than they did before Thursday's debate. Most definitely they do. Um, Kamala Harris... Um, I'm going to be quite frank. Uh, my MVPs for the first round of those debates, for the first debate was Julian Castro, and most definitely for the second debate, it was Kamala Harris. She came out to win, no matter <laughs> what she had to do. Um, and, and President Trump saw that, and that's one of the reasons why he downplayed her performance. He downplayed her performance because she went after Joe Biden, um, and she diminished his star to a certain extent. But at the same time, what does the president do when it's a black woman? He diminishes them. Now his son, Donald Jr., got in on it. Uh, president Trump uh, started his uh, politics, if you will, or becoming this political player off of birtherism, questioning the legitimacy of then-President Barack Hussein Obama, who was born of a white woman from the United States and a Kenyan. So, but he was born in Hawaii, uh, even though the president may not realize Hawaii is part of the 50 states. Um, for them to do this, and they want the black vote, it's atrocious. Um, you just can't do that. Kam Kamala Harris is a black woman in America, and they don't understand that there are a large uh, number of mixed race people in this nation who are black and they don't understand that yeah, and, it, and that's mm -hmm. a problem and, it's and, it's, a, and there's an irony also there's mm. an irony when the president of the United States says his father was born in Germany so why is anyone questioning that but we know he was born in the United States but it's, it's such an irony you know you have Ted Cruz why is it always a black person versus someone from another community. Yeah, it, it really is a misunderstanding of the breadth of the diaspora, what was written in that, that tweet. And we're intentionally not saying it because we don't want to promulgate this, this lie and this, this uh, framework exactly. uh, on this show. Okay, so she is what legitimate. Do you make, she is what do legitimate. you make of the fact, though, April, that Donald Trump Jr. retweeted it and then deleted it? because it was not the best thing for him to do, specifically as this president has um, an albatross hanging around his neck that has the word race on it. Um, you know, he, the president, uh, the, the answer to my question about the exonerated or Central Park Five, um, you know, if indeed that um, he, it was left up to him, they would be dead or executed, you know, even though they were found innocent. That's a race issue. Um, Charlottesville, uh, 
birtherism with Barack Obama, asshole nations. I mean, just the list goes on how he goes after Maxine Waters. I mean, it's just so much. Black women, uh, what he did to Congresswoman Frederica Wilson. Race is something that they don't need to touch. And Donald Jr. did that, and he had to pull it back because it's another thing stacked on as you lead into 2020. How can he say he's someone for everyone when he's going, continues to go after black women mm -hmm. or black people? It's just, it's it's not a good look. Well, we'll see if we if this moves to the center of strategy from the president or from the campaign, or if this was just a, a poor choice by Donald Trump Jr. Mm -hmm. um, April Ryan, always good to have you. Always great, Victor and Christy. Thank you, ma'am.